lighting can make or break your Unreal Engine projects. Whether you're creating a game, cinematic, or even just learning the engine, nailing your lighting is crucial. In this video, I'm going to share 10 Unreal Engine 5 lighting tips that will instantly improve your scenes, especially if you're just starting out. So let's jump right in. Unreal Engine 5's Luma system is a game changer for dynamic global illumination. It's designed to handle indirect lighting in real time, making your scenes look incredible without needing to bake light manually. To enable Lumen, head to your project settings, search for global illumination and set it to Lumen. You'll also want to enable reflections as Lumen handles both. Once Lumen is enabled, you'll notice how light interacts with your scene more naturally as light will bounce off of walls, reflect in materials and create a dynamic, realistic look. But here's a key tip as well. Lumen works best with nanite meshes because they provide the detailed geometry Lumen relies on for accurate reflections and shadowing. So if your scene feels a little bit off, check your meshes and ensure that nanite is enabled. Now for performance, you're going to want to keep in mind that Lumen is quite intensive. So if your frame rate drops, try reducing max trace distance in your post-process volume as this limits how far Lumen calculates light bounces, which improves performance without sacrificing too much visual quality. Instead of guessing RGB values, use light temperature for more realistic colors. Temperature is measured in Kelvin or K and different values correspond to real world lighting conditions. For example, 3000K gives you a nice warm orange sunset vibe, 6500K mimics a clear midday sunlight and 10000K is closer to an overcast sky with cooler tones. So a great tip for cinematic scenes is to mix temperatures. So you can try warm interior lights with a cool outdoor lighting to create a visual contrast and depth. This trick can drastically improve your scene's mood. Adding fog is one of the easiest ways to elevate your visuals. Exponential height fog is perfect for creating realistic haze in outdoor scenes. For a cinematic look, enable volumetric fog in the fog's details panel, as this allows your lights to scatter naturally within the fog, giving you those stunning beams of light that feel truly immersive. If your shadows look low quality or pixelated, your light map resolution is probably too low. And this is because light maps control how light and shadows are baked onto static meshes. So a resolution of 64 is great for large objects, but smaller details might need 128 or 256 for sharper results. But be careful though, as increasing resolution too much can drastically increase your build times. Now lighting layers let you isolate different elements to fine tune each one. For example, you might want separate control over your environment lighting, props, and characters. This method keeps your lighting workflow clean and efficient, making it easier to fix issues or add creative lighting effects. Skylights are a must for adding ambient light to your scenes. They simulate light from the sky, filling in shadows and giving your environment a more natural, cohesive feel. For best results, pair your skylight with a HDRI backdrop or sky sphere, as this ensures the ambient light matches your environment. And if your scene ends up looking too flat, you can tweak the cube map influence to balance the skylight's effect. Point lights can create harsh shadows, but area lights soften them for a more realistic look. They're perfect for indoor scenes or anywhere you want subtle diffused lighting. So you can play with the size settings to control how soft the shadows get, and larger areas mean softer edges, mimicking real world light sources like windows or panels. But just watch your performance as area lights can be heavier than basic lights. If you're seeing weird shadow glitches like dark patches or jagged edges, your shadow bias might need adjusting, as this setting controls how shadows stick to surfaces. So you'll want to start small around 0.1 or 0.5 and then test as you go. Too low and you'll probably get some shadow acne, and too high and shadows might float off objects. And it's all about finding that sweet spot. But lighting isn't just about lights. Post-process volumes can also enhance your scene with color grading. They let you tweak exposure, contrast, and tint for that polished professional look. You can try a silent warm tint for golden hour vibes or a cool blue for nighttime. Small changes here can tie your lighting together and boost the mood without extra lights. And also don't just settle for one lighting setup. Test your scene at different times of day as Unreal's built-in tools make it easy to simulate sunrise, noon or dusk, helping you find what works best. These different lighting times can have a huge effect on the feel of your game or your project and you might decide you actually prefer one over the other. 
This is also a great way to see how your materials and fog react to changing light. Plus, it's fun to experiment and can inspire new creative directions for your project. Lighting is one of the most powerful tools for storytelling and visual impact in Unreal Engine 5. By mastering these tips, you'll be on your way to creating stunning environments that truly stand out. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below what Unreal Engine tips you'd like to see next. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.